Good morning, Ravens, and welcome to this edition of ONW Now. I'm Molly Murphy. And I'm Pedro Von Simpson. The enrollment process has begun here at ONW. Let's take it Toddy Wilson and Emma Johnson for the details. It's enrollment time at ONW, and students are trying to decide which classes will be most beneficial for their education. Todd Dane, a counselor here at ONW, gives insight on how to plan for a college education. You start with a career, a specific career choice, and then you build your college educational plan behind that. And depending on what your college educational plan is, then you set your high school education piece. Dan gives advice on how to prepare for honors and AP classes. A thought process to kind of go into your preparation for a weighted class, an honors or an AP class, pre-AP class. The best advice is to go talk to that teacher. Talk to your current teacher in that subject area and then go talk to the teacher of that AP class or that honors class. Angie Powers, an English teacher at ONW, talks about how AP classes can influence your college career. The students that take AP classes many times will be able to get credit via the AP exams. So when you get to college, what that could mean is maybe you graduate in four years still, but you're able to do a year abroad and still graduate in four years. Or maybe you can graduate early, or maybe you can graduate in four years and take on a minor that you wouldn't be able to take on. This has been Emma Johnson for ONW Now. Now back to the desk. Most students have probably noticed a broom bot sweeping up after pep assemblies and games. Joe Kaliga has the inside story. The Aerospace and Engineering's broom bot is an ongoing project that many students and staff know little about. Although it was a huge team effort with many people contributing to assembling BroomBot, junior Josh Patterson is here to answer questions about this interesting device. There was probably about 15 people all together that worked on the BroomBot. BroomBot is equipped with a battery-powered motor, a wireless router, and a fully functioning sweeper for basketball games. We assembled the robot in about two weeks. Additionally, this year, an air-compressed t-shirt cannon was added to BroomBot. We asked Josh if we can expect anything else exciting. We haven't planned any additions yet, um, but we'll probably add something beginning of next school year. For ONW Now, I'm Joe Kaliga. Back to the desk. Now let's take it to Drake and Reed for game day. Thanks, Pedro. Concussions are a serious risk when competing in almost any competitive sport. Devin and Tyler have the information that athletes need to know about concussions. Fifty thousand. It seems like just a number to you, but this number is the amount of people tragically laid to rest annually from traumatic brain injuries, or in this case, concussions. Head injuries are something that Coach Chip Sherman knows all too well. Uh, when the brain gets bruised, basically, from um, from a, a movement within the skull. Disorders like chronic traumatic encephalopathy or CTE can cause symptoms like depression and memory loss that can affect players to any extent. Took away my whole last senior year of football. Um, I couldn't I couldn't play homecoming. I couldn't play at our last game of football. Uh, it was extremely depressing. Dementia has showed up in many NFL players' medical histories, the same players who were diagnosed with a concussion in their tenure as an athlete. Depression, um, you know, there's been some suicides that have taken place, uh, and so they are beginning to study the brain and the long-term effects of, of having uh, concussions and, and specifically repeated concussions. If the sport were to begin to have a dangerous reputation, it could even be the end of the sport in itself. This has been Tyler Sotart, ONW Now. The bowling season is in full swing at ONW. Brady Jensen has more on the boys' bowling team. The Ravens took part in a varsity mixed tournament last Tuesday. Cade Barker explained the format in more detail. So the format was cross gender, so they take a boy and a girl and they pair them up on each lane and then they take all the scores and that's how it goes. The Ravens finished second overall with a pen total of 22-45. Big contributors were Cade Barker and Alex Giffen, who threw for an amazing six strikes in a row. For ONW Now, this is Brady Jensen. Now back to the desk. Thanks, Brady. For Drake Watkins, I'm Reed Smith. Now back to the desk. The 
Now here's a promo for ONW Spring Blood Drive on February 25th. Every two seconds, someone somewhere in the United States needs blood. Yet out of the 38% of people eligible to donate blood, only 10% do. Scarier yet, the United States is currently in the worst blood shortage the country has ever seen. Accident victims can take up to 100 pints of transfusions just to survive. Scarier yet, could happen to any of us. To the student sitting next to you or even your teacher at their desk. Any person could be in dire need of a blood transfusion. So you be the hero. February 25th is the Olathe Northwest Blood Drive. Make your appointment during lunch to be a part of this great opportunity. Be the giving type. Give blood and you can be his or her hero. Remember to follow us on Twitter at ONW underscore Raven Daily. For Pedro Von Simpson, I'm Molly Murphy. Have a great week, Ravens.